boost your productivity with these Visual Studio Code tips. When it comes to coding, you don't want to lose any time doing things that don't really matter. Every second count, and these tips will help you to code way faster. I've been using Visual Studio Code for quite a long time, and today I couldn't work with these tips. If you want to learn them too, let's start, but before, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you like the video. Let's begin with the tip number one. Let's imagine that we have this table, for instance, where we have a bunch of data. In this data, we have people, and the table is compressed by some index, an ID, a name, and an email. Let's imagine that we only want to extract the name and the email. Normally, if we wanted to do this, we could try by selecting the name, the email, but at the moment we go down, we would be inconveniently selecting as well the ID. That is something that we don't want. What I would have done many years ago would be selecting the name, pasting it down below one by one, then selecting the email now and doing it again. And once this is done, repeat the same process with the rest of the lines. As you can see, this is quite slow. We can do this way faster. What we can do is use the rectangular selection. To start a rectangular selection, the only thing we need to do is click on the mouse wheel and then drag along all the text we want to select. Once this is selected, we can conveniently copy it and paste it down below. Once we have it here, we can transform it. For example, we can do a second rectangular selection, select the pipe symbols, add a comma, click enter, say email, and then at the line above, say name, and add a curly brace, go down, add another curly brace to close the object, comma, and then once we have this, we can put this within a variable. For example, const people equal array, because we want to have an array of objects with these people, and then close the array. Once we have these, we can, for example, select everything and then format our selection. And in no time, we pass from having an inconveniently formatted text to a list of objects that we can use in our application in no time and super fast. Okay, let's go with the tip number two. Let's imagine that we have a bunch of people, some of them teachers, some of them students, and because of our application requirements, we want to add a new property to all of them. This property will be is active true in order to display these teachers and students. To do so, what we could do is to one one by one and do is active and then true. Type the same again for the next one, but this is very tedious. Another thing we could do is once we have to write written ones, we could copy the first one, paste it on the second one and do the same for every single one. But as you can see, this is still quite a slow. So let's try a different approach. Something we can do is press option or alt, depending if you are in Windows or Mac, click all the places we want to make that addition. And once we have it, we click enter is active colon true. And boom, in no time we have done the same. We have applied all the changes we want in one single go. Let's go with tip number three. Let's imagine now that we have the same teachers and students and what we want to do now is rename the property name for preferred name. Now that we know tip number two, we could click option and select all the name properties. But again, this is a bit tedious. So let's imagine that we have a bigger list. This will take us a lot of time too. So let's try this way. You can select the first one and then do Control or Command Shift L, again, depending if you are in Windows or Mac, and you can click L and boom, all of them are selected. Now we can delete it and do Prefer Display Name, for example, and we would change all of them in one go. Fast, isn't it? As you can see, these tips will save you a lot of time. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's continue. Okay, for tip number four, let's imagine that we have again a bunch of people and all of them have the property is active equal true. Let's imagine that we want to disable only some of them. Of course, we cannot use the shortcut that we learned just before because that would alter all of them and it's not something we want. So what we can do here is to click on the one we want, for example, is active in line 17 and click Ctrl or Command D to exactly change only the ones we want. When we have selected them, we can delete, change it to false, and as you can see, we only changed some of them, but not all. This is fantastic because it allows us to change precisely the values we want to change and not the others. For tip number five, let's imagine that we have this file with a bunch of tests and when we run our test runner, it tells us that there is a test failing at line 165. So the normal way to do it would be, I'm gonna start scrolling, I go way slow, so I want to go faster and then I realize I just passed the line, I go up till I find the line 165. Okay, this is okay, but it's way slow. We want to move faster around our files. So instead of doing that, what you could go is any point of your file, you can uh, press Ctrl G and then uh, this prompt will appear where you have a colon and then you can type 165 and boom, it will go directly to the line. 
But wait, because this gets better. You don't only need to use this when you go to the file. What you can do, for example, if you press Command or Control P to go to a file, you can write the name of the file you want and then do colon and type the line, for example, five. And this will take you to this file to that very precise line. Isn't this good? Well, these are all my tips for today. If you liked this video, please subscribe and smash the like button. This will help me to grow my channel and keep creating videos like this one. See you next time.